It is the first day in the first term of the year 2018. Some pupils have already reported back to school. They are ready to start learning. And uh, from the teachers, we understand that some of the pupils were not able to arrive in school on time for the first day of the term because uh, uh, some of them could not uh, be able to travel back to Nairobi. And so they are they are hoping that uh, in between the week, most of the pupils will be able to report back to school. Teachers in the lower primary level at this school are looking forward to implementation of the new curriculum. Today they were to receive learning materials from the government, but that is yet to happen. They all underwent training for two days and they believe the 2633 system of education will better equip pupils compared to the over 30-year-old 844 system. Whatever the child achieves at every particular uh, stage, the, the, it is recorded. The class teacher will be recording and this will, con it's a continuous, the file will go on up to the time they're finishing the lower grade, that is grade 3, lower primary, still have a file. The same file will go to grade 4, which is the upper primary. Then the same file will go to uh, up to the lower junior secondary school. Pupils will be admitted for pre-primary at the age of seven years. By the time they complete primary level, they will be 11. And at the age of 12, they will join junior secondary school and clear senior secondary at the age of 17, having specialized in a field that they are excellent at. The new curriculum will only affect pupils in class 3 and below. We are having the 8 for 4. Classes will continue, KCP will continue up to 2022. The current class 4 are going to, to be the last group to sit for the KCP. A majority of teachers in primary schools are of the idea that subjects that have been scraped off the system, such as music, arts and craft, home science and woodwork, should be included in the new curriculum. Tomorrow, after a meeting attended by Education CS Fred Matiangi and other stakeholders, the 28,000 primary schools will get the way forward with regards to the new curriculum. Bye-bye. Bye. Sharon Baranga, NTV.